DIY.com. Now, check this roof out, man. This is like Mother Nature's carpet on the roof. I mean, it's the heavy-duty moss on this, which is really bad. Because what happens, the moss now starts to get under the shingle. Once that happens, the shingle lifts, that's it. Replace the roof. Yeah, if you look closely, which really hasn't happened yet for uh, some strange reason. When it's this bad, that's usually bad. Easy way to remove it, I got a roof cleaning chemical, which you can, you can find on my site. And with, just with a $10 bug sprayer, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray it. Now, I'm going to spray this little area here to show you how quickly it actually kills it. I'm just going to spray it. I mean, a real, you want to be pretty generous with it, because it is pretty thick, so you want it to get down in, under, under the moss and kill it. I mean, you can actually see this stuff dying right in front of you. I mean, look at that already. See the area that I did here? Nice bright green. Oh, look at it. Look at this changing color right before us. I mean, that's pretty good. So, what we're going to do is just do the whole roof but for this right now I'm just showing you this little area now what I like to use it's just a big broom handle you want to go always go down with the with it now I mean you can actually just leave this stuff on and let mother nature with the rain and help it go away well what I like to do with the broom is just push down on it Never going up. If you, if you go up, what's going to happen, you could go under that shingle. So you really don't ever want to do that. So always down. I mean, look at that. Pretty good, huh? And you can actually use a, uh, a water hose as well. But again, push them down like this. Look at that. I mean, within... A minute this stuff is coming off that's ah, pretty thick so what I'm gonna do with our special super duper roof cleaner here I'm gonna go ahead and, and spray the whole entire roof um, but actually I actually have a, uh, a much bigger sprayer that I'm gonna use to do this whole whole roof Alright, well we let our roof cleaner set up on here for actually just a couple hours. And this is the area that I used to, with the broom. And that basically, what we're going to do is just rinse it off with the water hose. Again, always pointing down. And you can see, it made a nice big difference. I'll just give it a little bit more scrubbing. With the broom, but very gently with the broom because the way that these asphalt shingles are made up with all these little granules, little sand, rocks, whatever you want to call it, and we don't want to remove those. If you start removing those, then you really shorten that life of that roof off pretty good. And basically, this is what we're left with behind. Like I said, this is really bad roof, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of this. 
Then I'm going to give it a second coat of that uh, super duper roof cleaner that we've got. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. All right, well, actually, we let this stuff soak in here for a couple days, and you can see that it really killed all this moss and lynching that we had going on. It's really dry now. We can either wait for Mother Nature to take its course and let it really just wash away with the, with the rain, which is really just about starting to rain here now, or use a stiff brush and we can just wash it off just like this. And you can have some a little left behind. Boy, that rain's really starting to come down now. <laughs> um, basically, it's not the easiest thing to remove. Just use a good roof cleaner. I use what I call my super duper roof cleaner. It really kills the stuff pretty good. And it's pretty much what you're gonna be left with right away. But as time goes on, it's gonna to continue to die and it's really just gonna flake off and fall off like that. Then maybe even a month later, you can come back and put another application of a roof cleaner on and it'll really start looking good. Anyway, I hope you learned something, how to remove the moss and all that algae from your from your roof. Hopefully, you don't, your roof's not that ugly, but if it is, this will help out. Anyway, I'm Dominic from SmithDIY.com. Thanks for watching.